we talked uh, on the show basically all week last week with multiple examples of how judges are just the latest cog in the criminal justice system to truly let down common sense and to throw it out the window. Uh, and we kind of, and when we talk about these things, I really believe that the, the answer and the solutions here are very obvious. And for some reason, whether it's um, political correctness or just ideology, or just failing to just be honest and recognize some of these breakdowns in the criminal justice system that we, we have to fix in order to restore law and order on our streets. And I really think this pattern and practice of judges looking at someone who comes in their courtroom, who's accused of a violent crime, in some cases accused of a crime where they tried to escape law enforcement, tried to flee from justice, and then the judge says, oh yeah, I'll let you go with no bail. You'll come back for sure. I just, I think, what is possessing you to believe that these people will come back and face the consequences of their actions? Um, and we have two examples from last week. Again, just last week, where we've already been proven right when we spoke out against the no bail that was granted to these two accused criminals. I, I, we said, they're, they're going to violate the conditions of their release. We're going to see them hopefully back before a judge, warrants out for their arrest, and this is what's happening. The first one is the guy who lit a fire at a homeless camp in Seattle, the one along Mercer Street. He said it was because he was burning a candle and it got out of control, but people saw him walking away from the scene and didn't call law enforcement or anyone, so was it really an accident? So anyway, he shows up in court. The prosecution says, his name is Paris Alcantara. The prosecution says, hey, he's had 60 warrants uh, in, in the last 20 years. We don't really think he's going to come back. We think he uh, 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 is a grave danger to the community. So the judge looks at all that and says, man, no, nah, no bail. And, and puts down these stipulations for Paris Alcantara that he can't, one of the stipulations is you can't go back to the encampment. Nicole and I both said, he's going to go back. Of course he's going to go back. So anyway, well, I, I, I'm sure it'll come as no shock to you that Paris Alcantara is already back in custody. Because not only did he violate conditions of his release, but he again, on the streets, allegedly posed a serious threat to innocent people. Here's a story from Como News. Paris Deshaun Alcantara. Paris Alcantara appeared in court with the help of a cane, but this is the man who police describe as a staggering danger to the community. This was a um, unprovoked random attack. The state has uh, community danger concerns. Alcantara was picked up over the weekend for allegedly chasing a man with an axe or metal pipe through Cascade Park while yelling, I'm going to kill you. He's not likely to obey any court orders and he's a danger to the community given a discharge and pending charges. Alcantara was arrested in August for allegedly starting this massive fire at his former homeless encampment on Mercer Street. A municipal court judge ordered Alcantara could be released without bail on those charges and ordered him not to return within a thousand feet of the Mercer Street camp. Police reports say he's been camping now at Cascade Park, which is 1,050 feet from his former camp. I hate to laugh, but yeah, 1,050 feet. Remember what the defense attorney said on Alcantara's behalf when he first appeared before a judge? Well, he has multiple places he can go. He can go stay with family. He can go to a city shelter. There's a church that he can go to. And in the same breath, she said he's been homeless for seven years. So we all knew, anyone with common sense knew, okay, well, if he had all these places to go to that he wanted to go to, that he was sound of mind enough to go to, he would go there. And he didn't. Instead, he went and Como, I think it's funny that Como counted, I like this Jeremy Harris reporter at Como. I was a little like iffy at first. Now I'm like, okay, he's doing a good job. 1,050 feet away from his former encampment. And not only that, he's chasing some guy around a park saying he's going to kill him. And that's the guy that the judge, he, 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 absent all the evidence that was being presented to him by prosecutors, said, yeah, yeah, no bail. Go ahead. It's going to be just fine. It's not just fine. And so common sense, common sense dictated it wasn't going to be fine. And now we know what happened. Now, there's a second, second example, again, from a case we talked about last week. This one was in Pierce County. Remember the young girl 
who Pierce County deputies, they saw, you know, uh, spotted in a stolen Kia grocery store parking lot. She ends up jumping in a different vehicle, fleeing the scene, uh, also accused of um, assaulting deputies. Apparently deputies had opened the uh, driver and passenger doors, try to get her out of the vehicle. She put the car in reverse, uh, backed up with the deputies trapped between the doors and the car. So she goes to court. And what did the judge do? Oh, no, you're fine. No bail. Someone who allegedly stole a vehicle, stole a second vehicle to flee from the scene, allegedly assaulted sheriff's deputies, and a judge thought that this young girl would come back to court, no problem. And one of the um, things the judge ordered is that she had to show up for pretrial, I think it was a diversion program, pretrial services rather. Oh, what's the update? From the Pierce County Sheriff's Office, the defendant failed to report to pretrial services within 24 hours of her release from jail, which is a violation of her conditions of release. A bench warrant has been issued for her arrest. Truly, does this surprise anyone? If you are shocked by this, I just have to know more about the world that you're living in. This is insane. And... I bet there is not one single person who watched these stories last week with us who thought that releasing these individuals without any monetary promise to appear was a good idea. This is common sense stuff, yet we have these judges whose actions completely defy common sense, almost to the point where I'm like, I've got conspiracies raging in my mind. Like, are they trying to destroy law and order? Are they actively trying to make our communities less safe? What would be the motivation for something like that? This stuff is ridiculous. And this, these are just two examples of many stories we talked about last week. Y'all think that that youngster uh, who fled from uh, uh, sheriff's deputies in Thurston County is going to come back to answer to his crimes? Who was released without bail? No. We just told the story in Enumclaw last week of that group of young people who's stealing car after car after car. Police uh, talk to one of their parents who blames the cops, who yells at the cops for arresting their kid for car theft. And then they get no bail and kicked back out on the streets. This is ridiculous. This is absurd. This isn't common sense. This isn't a, a, a trajectory that's going to correct itself. Like, come on, if people are a danger to other individuals who are just working hard, minding their own business, there have to be consequences. There have to be actions that our system takes to protect people from them. It's, 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 it's exhausting. It is truly exhausting to have to dwell on these issues and, and for leaders in charge not to see that this is a profound problem, that they should be speaking out about this complete breakdown, but they don't. Because again, it's their, their, their ideology just doesn't allow them to do that. Doesn't allow them to, I don't know, admit the error of their ways. Um, I, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, apparently it's not popular for Democrats to come out and say, hey, we have to be harder on criminals. Is that so hard to do? Apparently so, if you're base, it's not popular.